yeah. we're asking the people, so this one, what was the effect of it? And they said, well, is up until the games, if you got out waving the union flag, okay, uh, uh, people would have thought you were some sort of so fascist. <laughs> but now, so for, uh, for some time now, I've been people. working on this project called Replay Edits. Mm -hmm. So, ah, ah ooh, that's yeah. better. <laughs> Okay, so how do you how do you people generally see the changes that were made on a page? You go to the history tab, and then you see a uh, you see this. Yep. When you hit the history tab, you get the comments each person made, mm -hmm. and then when you want to compare two of them, you put a you click on one of the bubbles here, and then you click on one of the bubbles here, and then you say uh, compare the edits, and it goes to something like this. It shows you a bunch of things on the left side and uh, how it was edited and how it is in the next version on the right hand side. So uh, this is the first revision of a page called JSON. Uh, how many developers here in? Okay, so, so this is the first uh, commit of a wiki page called JSON. That's the second commit. So this is how the changes look when you view it with in the current interface. So for a non-developer of, uh, for an ordinary user, this is quite daunting because you, s because it, it directly, you directly don't understand that hey, this was a small S which became a big S. This is more like a developer's tool. You see the tips side by side. This is not very friendly. And on a mobile device, Mm. Uh, it's not possible to show something side by side. I mean, it is possible, but uh, it's not very friendly because mobile devices do something small and uh, yeah, small. Mm. So, so uh, okay, yeah. So it's not mobile friendly. If there are a lot of edits on a page, you have to go through every thing line by line. You have to. It's not very friendly, so you can, uh, you can press right arrow, right arrow. Yeah, yeah, sure, but okay. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, so I just so so what uh, so what I'm trying uh, so I've been working on this project for some time. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show the changes that happened in the context of the page. Mm. Like a movie, mm. so so um, I I took this from the article about the meteorite strike in Russia that happened recently. Yeah. So so somebody had written this word exploded, which somebody modified to shattered. So so what my uh, so what I'm trying to do with my tool is. It will be like a animation movie playback. So one second it will be this probably two seconds later or something. This will disappear and it and in its place shattered will appear. So 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 basically, you can see all the changes that are happening in the article. It's almost like the article is growing and evolving. You can you can actually see the evolution of the article as an animation sort of. So, so I I built a basic uh, uh, prototype which I'll show right now. I put the code on GitHub. Uh, so, so basically, this is my. Uh, you can access my code here. It's uh, C O S uh, M I C L A T T S slash wiki replay, and I. Uh, I'm updating about my project on. So, so there was this program called Individual Engagement Grant Program by the Wikimedia Foundation, mm -hmm. and so I'm a grantee, mm -hmm. and this is the project I'm working on. Uh, so I'll show you a demo of of the tool. So this is just the basic prototype that I've put together, so the UI is all really uh, bad, but 
this is more to give you an idea of the concept I'm working on. So what I'm what, what I'm doing is I'm entering the page name and the number of revisions I want this uh, I want to see the changes happening in. many changes happened from the first revision of the page JSON to the second revision of the page JSON and okay and, and I have highlighted every change that happened with a red color outline so right now it shows the modified version in the first version it was a small s and in the second version it's become a capital S so I'm, I'm basically showing all the changes that have happened and I'm looping through it so that you can get actually a feel of how it's changing in the page. So if you run it through multiple iterations, you'll see that you can actually see the sentence appearing, sentences disappearing, links appearing, links disappearing. And, and how so does it handle when like a paragraph is moved way down in the page or other really large scale changes? Uh, so, so I'm scrolling the page. Mm -hmm. So if, if a paragraph has been removed from here and has gone somewhere else, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm scrolling it down to the location where it's been right. added. So you'll actually be able to see it. Right. So, yeah, so the idea of showing you this is just to tease you all and give you a sense of what I'm working on. Uh, this is like a rough thing I put together to present. Uh, I'll be working on the UI and making it more uh, Better looking in the months to come. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Oh. So, yeah, any, any questions? Um, if any of you think this is useless, you can tell me that. <laughs> uh, just uh, curious, really, just to build on that <coughs> question. What, how exactly are you going to show removals and whatnot? Right now, I'm only seeing uh, yeah. so, blocks, basically. Yeah. So currently, for the remote, I've, I've just put uh, square dots, square dots sort of thing. So in my next version, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show the text that got removed initially, and then with a uh, time delay of say a few seconds, I'll make it disappear. Right. So you'll actually understand that something has like struck through or something. Uh, no, I'll actually uh, dis. Let's say this S is being deleted. Yeah. I'll make the S disappear. So right. you'll actually understand that that. Okay. Oh, you like mark that is about to disappear in some way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. It certainly seems that this will be at least a useful tool for visualizing things. I mean, I can see using both this and diffs, but I would use, certainly use this. But I'd try to get an idea of how an article evolved more than I would use a diff. mostly for uh, mobile though, right? right? I'm actually building it for the desktop, but yeah, it makes sense on mobile too. It actually makes more sense on mobile. Yeah. Because the current uh, diff viewing on the mobile, what it does is it, uh, have you guys, have any of you seen the diff on the mobile? Mm. No. So it shows you the old version and the new version side by side oh, with yeah, different colors. One is in red, one is in green. Isn't it the same as desktop? So it's not red and green on the desktop, at the very least. No, you have it in separate uh, columns. Uh, yeah, in, in, in the desktop, you have it in separate columns. But in the mobile, this, if, let's say a word ball has been modified to uh, tree. Like the, oh, yeah, I've you, seen You'll that. see ball in red color and tree in green color side by side. Oh, kind of mm. like track changes in word. Yeah. That's yeah, that's my talk, that's what I'm doing. Thank you. It looks good. Anyone uh, anyone here wanna give a speech? Um, now or the next section. Next section uh, we're actually we are having a uh, here, uh
about war. Well, if you're taking discussions which don't have PowerPoints, so I can talk a little bit about the challenges of editing East Asian topics. Okay, I think maybe we can have a, a little discussion uh, from now to one, and you can do your speech uh, in the next section. Is that okay? Uh, okay. Okay. So let's do this session. I want to give a talk, but I kind of signed up for the for Lightning Talk 6 on the website, so. Pardon? I signed up for one on Lightning Talk 6 on the website, so. I said, probably do it then since people really expected me to do it then. <laughs> Just for me, restoration of that type of thing, but, mm -hmm. you know. But you can't get images a lot of times. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you saw the Bata Warriors, right? Um, I think so. I thought it was really nice, but he definitely didn't get that from the Tropen Museum's donations. I don't know what he did. But so, it's beautiful. He could get Tropen to donate the original bottles. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. 